hi welcome back to the channel so why have i changed the rig again so this is about the third incarnation we've had of this if you saw the rig before it was very different it had a kind of boxing kind of look about it it's got a big canopy on the top i had three 32 inch screens and it was very very different and it was just too i went over the top with it put too much stuff on and i completely ruined it for what i wanted so I decided to strip the rig back bare and buy a Samsung, the Samsung 49 inch super wide monitor that everybody raves about and I had that in place and really hated it. It didn't give anybody that says this is a, as immersive as the uh, set of triples are wrong. It's nowhere near. I had to then go out and buy these. So I have two, a uh, two view Sonics. The reason the centre screen looks a bit darker is because I've paused the game, and obviously the main screen to where it's paused on. Uh, so yeah, I've got the triples, and I put ended up putting these view Sonics in. So the view Sonics were really cheap. I picked these up for about hundred and sixty five pound, and they are fourteen forty p really annoying that there you go so you can see now the 1440p and 144 hertz and one millisecond refresh rate so they match this thing near enough perfectly and as you can see they're a decent size height wise the two mil difference between the height of this and the height of that and that's why i can get something like image to go across but yeah really nice monitors and it just made everything feel a lot better for me in particular i didn't like the screen on its own but i, I did like i do love the screen don't get me wrong but it didn't have Im enough immersion now it's absolutely awesome and better than it ever was before but then it took a little while for it to become what I really wanted it to be and now the the rig's just fantastic it's much more stripped down than it was you can't drive with one hand it's much more stripped down than it was obviously uh, I don't have anywhere near as much stuff on here but for me it's absolutely perfect let's stop trying to drive and talk at the same time shall we so yeah so this is a rig so as you can see we've got still got the same rig it's just still the same base equipment um, I think from the last time I had the rig we've now got Husky and Bell Sprints, which I absolutely love. Massive difference between them and the Fanatec V3s. They just feel so much nicer. Everything else is still the same. DDU, which I've already done a video on the template one DDU. And I have that as my tyre monitor. So I have my tyre monitor separate now. That's my main screen. And then I have these. Now these flags, I'm going to do a video on separately. They're from the same people that make this screen. So I'll have a video on these things. These things are great. They come in at about £100. I think they're £90 for two. For both of them. Uh, you don't need to buy two. You can buy one, obviously. But if you set two up, obviously I've got an arrow on either side. And I can tell easier what car's at the side of me. But like I say, you don't need it. I have my... Stream deck there, and then to the side of it, I have my amp for the um, not the book ticket for my haptic control. So there's the ones bolted under the seat, and then that's my book kicker. Here I have my main control for AVC start, etc., and wipers, lights. And I have my bias set up on this as well. I have my pit um, limiter. But yeah, I have them set up there. And here I put a desk. And the main reason I did that book was comfort. When I had nothing on here and I just had the other part of the... Um, well, I had a canopy thing here. It was on a stand. I had one of them uh next level racing stand keyboard and mouse that he didn't work for me it was terrible this is superb this is just a tablet holder it's absolutely perfect for this but it's fully adjustable i don't have my mouse on here and also i have my f1 steering wheel here 
I have a top screen but no longer working as a top screen so I have a top screen but as you can see it's got my Sony Alpha camera connected to it and that's what I use to record my videos on and the screen purely becomes a well the screen for the camera instead of having the little flip screen up I have this con the camera connected to this monitor and the monitor works as my display so I can line up shots etc and make sure everything's in focus and so forth it's just so much easier to do that way the reason i don't have that screen connected up is because because i'm now running these monitors and i'm running them on the infinity and i'm using different size monitors i've got these set up perfectly but i have a problem when i connect a fourth monitor so when i connect this up and i have it as an extension monitor to um anything really it was causing no end of con no end of hassle on these so we just decided to do away with that and I just have that screen now for that reason. Uh, the other changes I've made, uh, audio wise, I've got rid of the big speakers and the amp and I went for a surround sound. So I have a Sony soundbar and then behind me I have the satellite speakers for the soundbar. As you can see up on the ceiling I have my Quest 2 and that's purely used for just playing uh, Formula One at the minute because I'm really into it on the headset and I also play uh, Automobile Easter 2 with that uh, so yeah it's been it, the setup's much nicer for me now I still have the PC at, oh, well if you saw the PC when it was at the back so I have my PC uh, running up here the beast I really do like having the PC at the back, it just makes it so much easier if I want to get to something. Sorry about the glare, you can't really see inside it. Um, but yeah, so the Beast runs at the back. Uh, this is a great case for ventilation because it's so open. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's hot. If I put my hands in there, it's warm. Um, but this thing runs really nice and get it really cool with this. And then I have my mic here. That's about it. Oh, webcam. I bought a Nextigo webcam a bit ago. I think I picked it up for under forty pounds, Amazon. These are fantastic value webcams. Uh, don't get me wrong; it's not probably as good as the top of the range stuff, but certainly anything under seventy, eighty quid, this beats it. Really good webcam. I really like it. And I think that's about it, really. I think everything else is the same. I have moved my handbrake because I've been doing a lot of drifting, which is why I have that concoction of a wheel there which I'll do another video on so because I've been doing a lot of drifting recently I connected the handbrake directly up to this post rather than being on the side of the gear Shift, uh, shifter because I was loosening it it was coming loose against here because it wasn't making a firm enough contact so I have it on here and it's now super firm and I still have, can get to my gears easy enough here I still have the wind maker or whatever you care to call it um, and that still works fine I've had no hassle with that since I built it it just works really well and that is my emergency stop for my DD1 and again I think that they're great I think I paid 40 quid for that much better than paying 100 or whatever it was oh and one last thing I have another button box down here home button box that I use for Mainly this one's used for automobile Easter because I can adjust more things and have it set up differently, especially for VR. So before I play VR, I just move some settings across on here and then it's set up perfectly. So I can have a VR version of AMS2 and a non-VR version. So for me it works fantastic and that is it. And I clock. So that's it. This is the rig and that's what it looks like now. I'm really, really happy with it. This is the best it's ever been and... To be fair, I can't see me ever changing much around on this now. I know people say that all the time. I'm not going to do any more. I'm not going to do any more. They do, but I've got to the stage really as well where I'm just about happy with everything I've got. And why would I want to add some more? So the only thing I'll be doing at the minute is buying new uh, software when it comes out. I'm looking forward to some new stuff coming out. Um, like I said, I've got F1 2022, which I've been playing a lot, and ACC. Uh, I've been playing it a lot more recently because of Watkins Glen, which is the track that's on the screen at the minute. So, there you go. Hope you liked the video. Uh, a bit impromptu. It was just to show you the rig. And have fun. If you are building your own rig, 
just remember just to do it the way you want to do it don't care what anybody else tells you about viewing angles on your monitor and anything it's whether you like it if it looks good to you then it's good it's perfect that's all it needs to be if you like the way your rig setup feels and the steer everything feels nice forget what anybody else will tell you about it is it's only down to you so thanks so much for watching have a fantastic day and i shall catch you all soon bye bye